Hello, welcome to today's class. Today we have this math challenge before us here. We have been asked to use the Taylor series, okay, in solving the limit as s dead to zero sine x bracket one minus cos x all over x to the power of three cos x. So how do we solve this? Let's go into today's challenge without much waste of time. So we take a solution straightforward here. So we take your solution. All right now, from here, we'll be asked to use the Taylor series. So first of all, we'll look for our uh, sine x and our cos x. We all know that our sine x, this is equal to our x minus our x to the power of 3, all over 3 factorial, then plus x to the power of 5, all over 5 factorial, minus x to the power of 7, all over um, 7 factorial, there plus x to the power of 9, all over 9 factorial, there minus da 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 da. Okay? Then we look for our curse x. We know that curse x is equal to our 1 minus our x to the power of 2, all over 2 factorial, there plus x to the power of 4, all over 4 factorial. The minus x to the power of 6 all over 6 factorial plus x to the power of 8 all over 8 factorial. The minus da da da. All right, so from these two expressions we have here, let's substitute these values into here, the value of x sign x here into this, the curse x we replace with this. So this will give us here limit. As x approaches zero, then we have the sine x. So we're going to have this to be bracket our x minus x to the power of three all over three factorial, then plus x to the power of five all over five factorial minus x to the power of seven all over seven factorial plus x to the power of nine all over nine factorial. Da da dash. Those bracket. Yeah, we now have this. Let's put this into a square bracket. We have one there minus. Look at what we have for our cos x here. So we have here one into. You're going to have here one there minus x to the power of two all over two factorial there plus um, x to the power of four all over four factorial then minus x to the power of six all over six factorial then minus um. Sorry, plus our x to the power of 8, all over 8 factorial, da, da, dash, close bracket. Okay, the everything here will be all over. We come to the denominator. Here we have x to the power of 3, bracket. Our curse here, we have 1 minus x to the power of 2, all over 2 factorial, then plus x to the power of 4, all over 4 factorial, then minus x to the power of 6 all over 6 factorial plus x to the power of 8 all over 8 factorial. Da, 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 then close our bracket. Okay, so look at what we have here now. We can use this to open up everything here, right? So we use this minus to open up what we have here. So this will now give us here the limit as our x approaches 0. Let's keep this guy here. We have here x minus x to the power of 3 all over 3 factorial plus our s to the power of 5 all over 5 factorial minus s to the power of 7 all over 7 factorial plus x to the power of 9 all over 9 factorial the da dash plus bracket yeah we're going to have here 1 minus 1 the yeah we change to plus s to the power of 2 all over 2 factorial the yeah we turn to minus s to the power of 4 all over 4 factorial the yeah, sorry. Yeah, we now change to plus so x to the power of six all over six factorial. Then minus x to the power of eight all over eight factorial. Da da dash. Okay, so yeah, we rule all over everything all over. The denominator monty is going to change from here, right? So this will still give us x to the power of three bracket. 1 minus s to the power of 2 all over 2 factorial, then plus our s to the power of 4 all over 4 factorial, 
the minus f to the power of 6 all over 6 factorial uh, plus it uh, sorry x to the power of 8 rather okay so you will have here s to the power of 8 all over 8 factorial the uh, minus da 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 okay so what you discover from here you discover that here we have x comma to everything here so we can factor out x from here so we can factor out x from here here this and this will leave the system and we discover that we have s to the power of 2 comma to both sides here so we can factor out s to the power of 2 from here so we are having a multiplication sign here so we can use this to size this to give us s to the power of 3 and we can bring this out right so let's continue at this side and see what this gives us in turn all right all right so we say what will factor out x from here and factor out x to the power of 2 from here so if we do that we're going to have this to be our the limit at x approaches 0 here we're going to be left out with uh they're going to have s to the power of 3 and if we use x into the, this will give us 1 then um minus here we'll be left with x to the power of 2 all over 3 factorial then plus here we'll be left with x to the power of 4 all over 5 factorial then here minus x to the power of 6 all over um 7 factorial then here that gives us here plus x to the power of um 8 all over 9 factorial da 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 plus round bracket then into let's put the other multiplication sign here because of space then when we come to this we are factoring out x to the power of two from here right so from here here we'll be left with our one all over two factorial okay which is this then minus here we'll be left with x to the power of two all over four factorial then here we'll now be left with plus x to the power of 4 all over 6 factorial and here we're going to have minus x to the power of 6 all over 8 factorial that, that, that's bracket any confusion no so let's go to the denominator everything here will now be all over yeah we are not factoring out early here because everything here remain the same so we have just our s to the power of 3 bracket our 1 minus x to the power of 2 all over 2 factorial plus our s to the power of 4 all over 4 factorial then minus s to the power of 6 all over 6 factorial then plus x to the power of 8 all over 8 factorial close bracket here we have a da 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 dash all right now we look at this carefully again what do you discover from the uh, expression here now here we have x to the power of 3 and we have x to the power of 3 here. So automatically, this, this will leave the system. Now, as x approaches 0, what will happen to this, this, and everything here? Here, this will give us 0, this will give us 0, this will give us 0, this will give us 0. Now, we'll come to this second expression here now, because here we're having a multiplication sign here against this. So this will give us zero this will zero this will give us zero and at the denominator as x approaches zero again this will give us zero 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 so we're left with what just one for the first bracket so we're going to have this or uh, this nine implies we have our one times then the second bracket we are having one all over two factorial so we have one all over two factorial then everything all over the denominator we are left with just one so we have here one and what is two factorial two factorial is just two times two okay sorry two times one right so automatically our expression will now give us what two so we have one times one will give us one and one uh two times one will give us two so automatically we have one all over two as our answer so if we use the Taylor series to look for the limit of this function, we're going to come up with what? Just one all over two. Okay. All right. So this mark the end to this wonderful and beautiful challenge. If you learned something from this video tutorial, give the video a thumbs up. If you're not clear with any of the steps analyzed here, then drop it in the comment section. We are there to reply to your comments. 
Remember, this is all on Mass TV. And if you've not subscribed, do well to subscribe. And if you want us to produce more videos on limit function, then drop it in the comment section. You can equally say, um, by just saying more examples on limit, then I will produce more videos on this. We love you because you are the reason for the existence of the channel. Bye. Until we meet here again.